Well, what a way to officially kick off summer. The scorching heat here has me regretting my wardrobe choice for today as Environment Canada issues a heat warning across Halton. It's going to be a hot couple of days with Environment Canada asking residents to take care. Warning preparedness meteorologist Stephen Flissfetter says there's specific thresholds weather conditions must meet in order for the agency to call for a heat warning. The Environment Canada uh, heat warning criteria is at least two consecutive days with daytime maxes of at least 31 degrees Celsius uh, with overnight lows of at least 20 degrees Celsius uh, or uh, to at least two consecutive days with humidex of 40. So that's certainly what uh, Halton is expecting today and tomorrow. Uh, and following that, we're expecting temperatures to dip down a little bit. It's still going to be hot, still going to be humid, but not reaching those thresholds of 31 degrees Celsius during the daytimes. Uh, so really more of the high 20s uh, should still be seeing a fair amount of sun. So even though it's going to be uh, out of the heat warning, still something to keep an eye out, uh, especially if you're outdoors doing any kind of strenuous activity. These temperatures are certainly not the norm for this time of year. Fliss Fetter says we'd normally see daytime highs at about 25 degrees. So with temperatures in the low 30s, it's definitely above normal. Uh, but it's not to say that we don't see uh, 30 degree days every year. Uh, it's something that we do experience on a fairly regular basis. But when it does occur, it is uncomfortable for most. I won't say everybody because some people do enjoy it, but it is uncomfortable and it's important to take seriously and take precautions. Okay. Avoid strenuous activity, especially during the warmest parts of the day. That's usually in the afternoon, early evening period uh, on a general day. Uh, uh, if you have availability of uh, air conditioning, that's a good idea as well. Important to stay hydrated as well. Uh, the signs of heat stroke uh, can be quick on setting, so it's important to keep hydrated throughout the day, uh, staying, uh, staying on top of drinking water before you start to feel thirsty. With all that great advice in mind, I was wondering how you were keeping cool. So I spoke with some residents in and around the Mill Pond here just off Main Street in Milton to find out. Staying in the shade and carrying a very large water jug around. Yeah, I know I made a mistake going for a walk. I've never said that, but it's 33 and I'm 75 years old and I find it uh, too hot for my skin. Yeah, but I got lots of water in the bag. I like to stick to the shade as everyone does. Now, it's also important to note that residents like our elderly, those with respiratory or heart conditions, women who are pregnant and children are most vulnerable in this heat. So Environment Canada does suggest you check in on your loved ones who may fit any of these categories. Let's not forget our pets as well. It is important that you keep them away from these scorching conditions, and that includes not leaving them in your car. For Halton News at the Mill Pond in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.